Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today in this video, we are going to take a look at a 6x6 piston door. So over here we have our door and when we flick this lever, as you can see the door will open up. Now we can walk inside and do whatever we want. When we're done, we're just gonna walk outside click this lever once again and as you can see our door will close up. So the best thing about this door is the fact that it uses the least amount of resources and does a really great job and it is very compact as well. Now the bad thing over here is the fact that from the back it looks like this. From the front it looks pretty good but at the back you can see all the pistons and all the slime blocks so if you're looking for a door that happens to have a back door as well, well this is not it. Now, if you want to take a look at all the redstone behind this thing, I will leave a link down in the description to a download for the world and you can check it out and have a lot of fun. So to build this thing, what you want to do is start off with a 14x4 area and we're going to be adding a frame like this, which is going to be 8x8 and this should be 3 blocks high from this over here. And over here we have 3 blocks of space and over here as well and this over here represents 15 blocks of height so this is how much redstone is going to be going inside of this build i know that did not really make any sense so what i'm going to be doing is putting a blueprint on the screen so you can follow up so the first thing that we're going to be doing is going at the middle over here and adding four redstone dust just like this and we're going to be adding two blocks over here, two blocks over here, and one block at the end like that. And we're going to be adding the same thing over here, two blocks, two blocks, and one block over here. Add redstone torch, add these two blocks, and add redstone dust going and collecting all of these over here. So now go over here and add four observers facing upwards, and four sticky pistons facing upwards over here. And for now, just add any kind of blocks on top. Now at the back over here, we're going to be adding two observers over here and over here. And we're going to be adding two repeaters set on four ticks. And we're going to be adding four blocks going just like this and add redstone dust. Two blocks over here and some temporary blocks over here and place sticky pistons just like this. And we're going to be adding two repeaters going like that and add two observers facing upwards and blocks on top and we're going to be adding some blocks over here. Now these sides are completely symmetrical so what I'm gonna do is show you how to build one and you can do the same thing on the other side. Now go over here and add a block over there and a torch on top and then a block over here, a block over here and a block over here. So now we're going to be adding all the pistons so what you wanna do is go over here, place a temporary block over here, add a sticky piston over there and we're going to be falling up with sticky pistons going over here to this level or like that. So add all the floor blocks so it will be a little bit easier to make. So we're going to be going over here adding a block over there, a block over here and a piston just like that. A one piston over here and one piston over here. All of these are going to be sticky. Now go over here and add four slime blocks going like this and a regular piston facing this way. Now go over here and add redstone dust going like this and we're going to be adding a slab over here, a slab over here and one slab over there, redstone dust on all of these. Go over here and add a block over here, a block over here with redstone dust, two repeaters, one set to four ticks and one set to two ticks. Now we're going to be going over here and we're going to be adding two blocks like this and another block over here and we're going to be adding two redstone dust over there and we're going to be adding a repeater facing this way. Now at the back over here we're going to be adding a non-movable block over here and a redstone dust going like that. Now go over here add a block over there, a block over here and a slab going like this and we're going to be adding a block over here, redstone dust, a repeater set to 3 ticks and add redstone dust, break this block and you're done. Now we're going to be adding blocks on top of all of these pistons and we're going to be adding a non-movable block over here over here, over here, over here and then one last one there. Now add two blocks over here and four blocks over there. So that's one side of your build completed. Now what you have to do is do this on this side as well and then we're going to be doing the top part. 
So now go and fill all the empty spaces on the walls and we're going to be going over here and adding a block over there and sticky pistons facing downwards and we're going to be adding four blocks on all of these faces. Now go over here and add a block over there and add two sticky pistons over here, two sticky pistons facing downwards and we're going to be breaking that block. Now we're going to be adding blocks on all of this roof so fill up all of the space we're going to be working on the top over here. Now go over here and place two observers facing into these pistons over here and we're going to be adding a block over there with redstone dust and we're going to be adding a block over here with redstone dust and adding redstone dust on these lines like that. Now come over here and add three slabs like this, a block over there and redstone dust going like this. We're going to be adding a repeater set on two ticks. We're going to be doing the same thing on here which is slabs going like this. And we're going to be adding a block over here, rest on dust, and a repeater set to two ticks. Now come to the front, we're going to be adding a repeater going into that observer, and we're going to be adding two blocks, a repeater over there, a rest on dust over there, and a torch right that. And we're going to be adding the same thing over here, which is a repeater over here, two blocks, rest on dust, a repeater, and a torch. Now to connect this up, we're going to be going over here, adding a slab over here, rest on dust, and a slab over here with rest on dust and two blocks over here and that's everything done. So now add all the blocks on the pistons and we're going to be going over here and you have to run your input into this redstone line over here. So for now I'm just going to be going and placing a redstone dust over there and a torch over here and to connect this up you can just go and add redstone dust like this. So you can have a switch right over here. Now we are, what you have to do is get a lever and place it over there and when you flick this lever as you can see the door will open up and when you flick it again, it will close up. Now if you want to build the door that I showcased in the start, you, you will need all of these items. And we're going to be starting off with adding stairs at the corners. And we're going to be adding pillars over here facing like this. And then take your quartz blocks and place them over here. And then at the center, we're going to be adding some chiseled quartz over here just like this and over here we're going to be adding sea lanterns at the corners and we're going to be taking our pillar blocks and just placing them like this and that's your whole door done so that was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos i will see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye